Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is Wednesday, August 21st, 2019, about 10.25 in the a.m. And I am here today in the wonderful city of Glendale. I am here in Glendale, California today. And I would like to start off to apologize to you folks. I took a two-day hiatus from really doing anything. Um, I was really, really tired. I didn't, truly, I didn't honestly realize how exhausting and how much walking I can do and I really do forget myself uh, especially now with this this cast on uh, I'm just running around on adrenaline and I have no idea how much work I put in until I get home and then like the next day I'm like oh I'm tired so and honestly I had some footage that I had gathered <clears throat> I'd like to tell you, um, if, you're, if you notice any quality in the audio and in the video as of lately, uh, starting with the last video that I posted yesterday, I'm trying something different. I was able to actually get my uh, video editor to start working a little bit, kind of. It's maybe hit 80, 90 percent. It's not really working all that well. Um, and thank you for suggesting uh, the Da Vinci editor. One of my fellow subscribers uh, sent me a link for the Da Vinci editor. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't working. It was kind of clashing with, with my system. Uh, by my laptop, I bought one. I was homeless and I saved my pennies and like a lot of my equipment, honestly, is starting to fail. <clears throat> Uh, it's not a surprise. I'm surprised it actually lasted as long as it did. So uh, I can get the editor working a little bit and some of the video that I shot with my Nikon, that's another thing. Uh, I've been trying to break out my Nikon to use it a little bit more, but it's kind of hard. I can't load film up because I didn't have an editor to splice film together to make a complete scene or to complete videos. I would have to shoot like five ten minutes here and then upload them up separately as as individual parts <clears throat> and that doesn't work all too well for well for, you know for for content uh so much so uh now that i got that i i can splice in uh film <laughs> i'm so used to seeing same film i can splice video together uh a little bit easier now so I'm going to be trying to utilize my Nikon a little more to do that, uh, to maybe create a little bit more, providing it does allow me. And my Nikon, this little baby, is, uh, what's this place? G-Fat Station. It's, um, she's pooping out on me. I, I bought this camera when I was homeless and I was working for the pastor and doing a lot of videos for his channel well not his channel my channel that I created for him and uh, my Nikon's not working all the way well the focusing sensor on it I believe is starting to go out because I used to do a lot of nighttime photography and mainly uh, my subject was the moon and with this little camera I could get really good shots of the moon and um, she's not focusing all that well so I want to try and use this camera as much as I can before she conks out on me. I love this little thing. It's a good camera when it was really working well. It was perfect for what I needed. But uh, Because normally even when I shoot with this cell phone I can't edit because my laptop wouldn't even download the extension for the T-Mobile to be able to use the video. So it was just, it was hard. So for a few years, most of my videos were direct from 
cell phone and not not uh, not my camera, not my Nikon. So I'm kind of excited now that I'm getting it to so work. So anyway, I'm in downtown Glendale in the business district here. Uh, going down that going that way is up north uh, to the 210 freeway that crosses that away uh, east to west, and it jumps into the. Uh, five the two so and then going down this way is we're headed south on uh, on where am I on brand so we're headed to Broadway and brand uh, there's the Americana down that away and this is where the most of the shops and eateries and whatnot start so let's check it out so here we are at brand and Broadway. This is a uh, part of the mall right here, Bloomingdale's, and it goes down. The Americana starts down that way. And here we have Marshalls. Folks around here love shopping. <laughs> Seriously, they they. And why not? You know, there's there's quite a bit of money around here in the city, so folks definitely this is one one town, one city, compared to like Sherman Oaks, even though there's buku money there in that area. Uh, just given the view of all the shopping facilities here, people love to go about and come out and go shopping. Uh, there's an in and out. I guess they compared to uh, Sherman Oaks, not too many people just sitting around talking business and having their Starbucks or what have you. Not really, not really doing a whole much of anything. Yay, in and out. And here's another little, this place is called the Glendale Marketplace. Looks like they're remodeling here. It's a cool little place in here. You know, I've never really been in here. There's the Americana. Let's cross over. without getting hit or falling so here's a better look of that little shopping center definitely folks love to shop around here see now that's cool Grainville Cafe you know we have one that just opened up in Pasadena uh, across the street from the old Walgreens I remember there were uh, about a year, a little over a year ago, they had they were starting to construct because I had put in an application there until I heard word from Target. So, <clears throat> but I, I don't think I ever did hear back from them per se. Work. That's another thing. I don't know what to do. I'm still, I'm still thinking that subject over. Truly, whoa, this is pink. Wow, this is pretty. Oh, my ex would love this. What is this? It's called Nail It. Oh, folks, you have no idea. This is really pink. It's got uh, rose gold metal. It's pink. It is as, it's cool though. Wow, it's very cool. You see all that? Very cool. So, work, I don't know. Ideally and truly, honestly, I want something closer. Uh, I just, I, I just want to work a little bit closer to home. The commute's starting to weigh on me. 
it's not so bad during the weekdays, but it is on the weekends. So, anyway, here we are, my friends, at the Americana. Always welcome. I wouldn't mind living here if I could afford it. It's, it's not too crowded. It's not so stacked upon each other like downtown LA is. So I could, I could definitely do this. All right, so I'm gonna have to switch over to B cam. I'm not allowed to film with this camera on the property. I can film with the cell phone, but they said that this is a, it's deemed as a professional camera. So, okay, well, there goes my plans. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do this on two parts. I'm gonna upload this uh, for the first part, doggone it, and then I'm gonna switch over to my cell phone. All right, my friends. All right, boy, this is gonna be uh, this video is gonna be hopscotching. Uh, what I just was shooting with my cell phone, uh, the video cut out right abruptly, abruptly, because it overheated. So I'm back to the Nikon. I'm leaving the Americana and I'm headed to the Galleria, as you can tell. So, let's hobble over here without getting hit. There's the Americana that I cannot photograph and film because I have a professional camera. So we'll go to the Big G, the Glendale Galleria. Oh, I love this. This is cool. I guess maybe it's unsafe to say that the Glendale Gallery is one of the last bastions of malls. Because after going to the Sherman Oaks Gallery, that was, that was not even a gallery. And like many of you said, it's just, it's a plaza. It's, it's, it's less than a strip mall. Oh, here we go though. Welcome to the American Mall. And here we have the void. That's right, you don't have to go to downtown Disney to go to the void. You can come here to the Galleria and do the void. Even malls have a certain smell. It's, it's that smell of everything. Perfumes, clothing, food. It's just a good feeling to be in the mall. Right? The mall, the American mall is... I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't even know if we really invented the mall in this country, but we sure have done a good job of creating, maintaining, sustaining um, malls. Look at that. That is so cool. I would love to do this. I really, really want to do this one day. It's on the pricey side, but it looks like loads of fun. I've checked it out online. It's, yeah, it's really cool. Typo. A new place? Huh. 
Let's see what they have for applications. Hey, I'm always on the lookout, my friends. I'm always on the lookout to better myself. Oh, there we go. Typo.com. Let's check this out. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind working at a mall again during the holiday season. It, it's a blast. Duck Martens. I have experience selling shoes. I used to sell Crocs. The commute to and from this mall wouldn't be too bad, honestly. It'd be a little bit easier and most definitely not a problem on the weekend. And I wouldn't have to bike, really. I would just definitely take two buses. That's, and I'm here. So, Charlie will keep an eye open. I could already hear you folks. Well, Charlie, you know, if it's, if it's easier, go ahead and apply. I, I, uh, I could already hear your comments. It's not a bad thing. It's definitely a good thing because... You folks know me and know what be better for me. There's a food court. Here's Duncan. Oh, the escalator's not working. There's a Disney store. Let's go see what's in the Disney store. All right, even the camera's starting to act up. Batteries are, I think, are going out. Maybe I should have stayed home. I get told I can't film. The cell phone overheats and cuts out on me. And I had to change batteries on this camera, so. I don't know. We'll just continue. Anyway. Ooh, Cinnabon. haagen and Cinnabon. That reminds me. I need to pick up some ice cream when I get home. Oh, thank goodness for the Glendale Mall. Some place to go. I do want to take a special trip, but that's going to be really exhausting. And I'm sure it's changed over the course of many years. But I want to kind of see what it's developed into. Hey, look, a uh, selfie wall. Cool. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's build a bear. God, they really got small. I thought they used to have a storefront instead of a kiosk. All right, let's see what we have up here. There's really not a whole lot down over on this end. It's kind of a dead zone. A lot of high-end, very high-priced uh, objects are more on this end. Kind of out of the way. It's, I guess it's apropos because Bloomingdale's over there. I don't know, but up on the upper level, American Eagle.
We got one of these in Pasadena not too long ago, I believe. Zara. And like I said, there's an Apple store. Seemingly starting to become as common as Starbucks. Oh no, the Lego store is closed. What happened? Are they remodeling? God, I hope they're remodeling. Pardon our dust. Upgrade. Coming soon. August 19th through the 24th. All right. We rolled out the red brick carpet for you. Doing some serious tile work in there. Waffle Jack. Kind of hungry for something sweet. Actually, I, I kind of want another cup of coffee. Could use a cup of coffee. I missed two days not having coffee. Those two days that I did not come out, I did not even come out. When I said I did not come out, I did not even go get coffee from my Starbucks. So I stayed in for the last couple days, my friends. I really did. So in retrospect, I'm actually kind of happy. I'm was really pooptified. Let's uh. Let's go over that way and then come back. All right, now what do we have over on this? Uh, not nothing really. Sports, overpriced sports, shoes. Uh, this is uh, the poopy side of re retail. Abercrombie and Fitch. Did I miss? I think I did. I missed the chocolate store. Or did I pass it? No, I haven't passed it yet. Hollister. Well, that name reminds me of Las Vegas for, for a reason. Stairs are a chore. Oh no, there it is. Ethel M. Chocolates. Mm. Haven't had a good chocolate. They, you know what? They weren't so bad. Ethel M. Chocolates were quite okay. to work for Crocs, Santa Anita Mall. Actually, I should go back to the Santa Anita Mall and check out. Sure, free sample. What is? Oh, 
Oh, that's good. Oh my God, free samples. What is it, guava? Cucumber and guava. Oh, the guava's good. Okay, hold on. I, I only have two hands and a camera in my hands. All right, there's one cup. The guava's good. This is the cucumber. Oh yeah, cucumber's good. Ooh, aguas frescas. Just, just a roller, what? It's one of these little temporary pop-up amusement places that, yeah. Oh, it's kind of cool. Ooh, air tubes. Hey, that was good. Green Crush. They got good awas in there. Oh, when I get my own place, I could actually start doing all this stuff again. I used to juice like crazy. And I used to make my own ice cream. I had a, I remember I had an ice cream maker. A wedding gift. One of my most prized and grand gift set that we got from our wedding registry was this Cuisinart ice cream maker. That thing was awesome. That's right, they don't have the escalator down here. How do we get down? Pennies. Bye bye, pennies. I'll be surprised if they don't announce they go belly up sometime in the fiscal 2020. Children's Place. Ex wife used to work there, the one in San Anita Mall. A lot of these uh, smaller eateries are. Not making it. It's hard to make it. Wetzel's pretzels. Cherry boba frozen lemonade. Oh, smells good. Coming to the end of the upper level, there's Target. That's the flagship store for this side of the mall. Zoom is. Well, um, I want to try and find a screen printer that I could afford. I've been trying to do that, but. Shirts are expensive. I, I would like to start to make a couple of shirts on my channel, but they're expensive. And with quantities starting as little as 50 to 100 at like $12 a shirt, that's expensive. I'm trying to think of ways to promote my channel. I was asked not too long ago with everything that I'm I'm at where I'm at in life. What what is like my hope and my goal? Aside from like having life be a little bit more better, my and I, I said actually after everything that I've done and the one thing that I have not really given up on and and strive for is I want my channel to be I want my channel to be a hit, honestly. Um, I want it to take off. I want it to go viral. I want it to in whatever anything that I do. So um, whether it takes off for my homelessness or post homelessness, I just want my channel to take off. So yeah, you know, then win the lottery. So, but I think the channel taking off would be more realistic, honestly, than uh, winning the lottery. Don't you think? Simulator. It's a game simulator. Experience spacecraft virtual reality to the fullest. Alright, well. 
I think that's pretty much. Those are ugly shoes. I know a lot of you folks, especially you guys, collect shoes, but those are ugly freaking shoes. Wow. Some of these manufacturers make ugly shoes. All right. Let's see. Maybe even just starting with one shirt. But it would be so simple too. It's just basically what what I want is I just want the uh, the YouTube symbol and my name on top of it with the at symbol on it. Charlie Sanchez Salinas at YouTube or Homeless in Pasadena at YouTube. And I think Charlie Sanchez, I think my name would be better. So that's my channel, so that's what I want. But it is expensive. And I don't have that money yet, so. Alright, my friends, it's coming full circle. Alright, you folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that ice. Ooh. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on, what I'm doing, and basically what I'm doing now lately. Post-homelessness, post-bicycle, major injury almost lost my life ah. oh sorry trying to get the dramatics in there and today i'm at the glendale galleria Ooh. Oh, croissants oh lord look at that almond danish chocolate croissant. I did say I want some coffee and something sweet to eat, right? And like right now, macaroons or macarons, whatever you choose to call it, tomato, tomato, um, they're like the rage, but they're starting to die out quickly, unfortunately. So. Alright, well, let's... Say goodbye to the void. Thevoid.com. Let's come back out. Step into Star Wars Secrets of the Empire. It's pretty badass. Step beyond reality. Sorry, folks, no pets. All right, well, that's it. That'd be it. We're out here on Central. And that is it, my friends. Head out and go home. I gotta go to the store. And, uh, huh. someone that I know, I, I thought I'd drop this. Someone that I know is kind of wanting to fix me up with someone that they know. And I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's great. Oh, you really like her. She's, she's really nice, blah, blah. She's blonde. What did she say? She's top heavy. Uh, she's just a little bit older than me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. And it's basically, 
I need to tell this person is like, look, I'm not in a hurry. I don't, I, especially now, at my age, I don't want to be set up. Because you definitely don't know my taste. You may know the other person, but I have a certain taste. And youth is one of my tastes. I like I like younger women. And, just, and, and I don't really want someone who's broken and on the mend. Because I'm already on the mend, so... Ugh. Yeah, I, I just not thought about this. It's just, oh, I gotta avoid this. Anyway, my friends, I'm gonna go across the street and get on the bus and go back home. All right, you folks take care of yourselves and I will see you tomorrow. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I love you all. Have a great Wednesday. Oh, it's hump day. Yay. All right, close it out to this gentleman over here. <laughs>